All right, so as I promised, now we're going to talk about how uh, the different numerical manipulations lead to error. And the first, uh, the first item uh, we can talk about is addition. Okay, addition. And uh, in particular, we see the biggest problem uh, when we uh, add and subtract, um, or add, excuse me, add a large number uh, to a small number. And the, the reason uh, this causes such a problem is, is sort of this subtle uh, thing you, you, that we may not realize in uh, floating point number representation. In, in all the, the, the discussion that follows, we're going to assume that we're representing uh, numbers in, in floating point. And so uh, even, even though a lot of the same things apply in fixed point, but um, in floating point, uh, we have this nice thing where we can represent uh, smaller numbers, and we have this this minor granularity. However, whenever you're going to produce, whenever you're going to perform an an operation such as addition on two numbers that are represented in fixed point notation, the first thing that you have to do before you can add them is get the decimal is is shift the decimal place of the mantissa uh, to the same uh, to the same position as it is uh, for the other number. And so the, the, the decimal place is it, essentially what this means is the decimal hat place has to be uh, in the same in the same spot. Even though we can do normalization to represent a number generally, we have to shift the number to the same location before we can do a, addition. And, and so the, the example that we could give here is, is, is that from the book we have 0. Uh, wow, that's bad. 0 0.1557 and we're going uh, and, and that's that's times uh, 10 to the first alright and we're gonna add that number to uh, 0 0.004381 and you can notice here well times 10 to the first as well uh, you can notice here that, that both of these numbers uh, w have have four digits of precision uh, as represented in it would would be represented we're, we're doing this in in decimal but but uh, it's the same the same principle applies we we have these four digits of precision uh, but before we can add these numbers we have to shift them over and then perform the addition so we're going to go ahead and add these numbers all right so we get one eight. Uh, three and seven is eleven. Uh, wow, no, it's not eleven. It's ten. Uh, five and five is ten. Um, six, one point zero. Okay, that's that's sort of an ugly zero. Let's fix that. Get a better eraser. There we go. Okay, one six zero zero eight one. And now again. Let's just assume that we're that we're chopping here that that we're only uh, that we're only taking the four digits of precision here, uh, assuming we can only represent that many digits. Uh, this is the number that we end up with. Okay, this is the number that we end up storing, and so these two digits here, right here on the end, are basically toast. All right, and so in a sense, uh, if we're going to add two numbers. All this 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 extra precision that we had in the numbers is sort of lost uh, because of the addition because this is the number uh, that we get to represent in the end and so we can see when we add two numbers in particular this is a bigger problem when the numbers are way different in magnitude and when we add a large and a small number we get this loss of precision uh, that's introduced I mean you could see. Uh, you could see this really bad is if if this were if this were even smaller like 0 0.0000 of four three eight one or something uh, then we wouldn't even need to perform the addition or, or it would be a waste because we we would end up with with just the one term here so we can see how adding um, two numbers in particular a large and small number can lead to a loss of precision. 
and, and really a loss of information. We really there, There's this information about this 8-1 that we used to have, and we just don't have it anymore.